Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. In air navigation, directions and bearings are specified by measuring from the north in a clockwise direction. And in this case, a positive angle is assigned to the angle instead of the negative measure. We all know in trigonometry na pag sinabing clockwise direction, the angle is negative. But in this case, we disregard that rule. Now, let us assume that an airplane is at point Q. How do we determine the location of the airplane if it has a bearing of 40 degrees? If the starting position is this red point, then you just need to draw a 40 degree angle from the northern part for you to determine the location of the airplane at point Q. Remember that the distance of the airplane or point Q from the starting position may vary. How about a 300 degree bearing? Drawing ka lang ng 300 degrees from north. Here are other examples. But we also have other ways of presenting bearing. In a certain navigation or surveying problem, the direction or bearing from a point P to a point Q is specified by stating the acute angle that segment PQ makes with the north-south line through P. So if before our only reference is north, this time we can use either north or south. So if point P is our starting position, then we can identify the position of Q sub 1 or point Q sub 1 here by drawing an acute angle from the north. So mula dito sa north, it's 25 degrees. And since nasa eastern part siya, therefore the bearing of Q sub 1 is 25 degrees east of north. How about this example? Notice that this time it's on the western part. That is why it's 70 degrees west of north. 70 degrees kasi it's 70 degrees from the northern reference. Now, pag nasa baba na sila, ibig sabihin kailangan na natin gamitin na reference ay yung south. So this time, we have 40 degrees west of south because Q sub 3 is what? Located on the western part. And it's 40 degrees from the southern reference. Ito namang Q sub 4, it's 55 degrees east of south kasi nga nasa eastern part siya and ang angle natin starting on the southern reference, 55 degrees ang meron tayo. So ganun lang. Basta tatandaan nyo lang pagka nandito siya sa upper right quadrant, laging east of north. Pag dito naman sa left side, west of north. Pag banda rito sa lower left, west of south at sa lower right, east of South. At ang laging reference natin, north o kaya south lang. So, hindi pwedeng mag-umpisa yung uh, measurement sa east o kaya sa west. Dapat laging galing sa north or galing sa south. How about let's try solving problems involving bearing? An airplane flies 100 kilometers in the direction 38 degrees 10 minutes east of south. So, if this is our starting point, ang airplane ay lumilipad sa bearing na 38 degrees, 10 minutes east of south. So, nanggaling tayo sa southern reference at nagguhit tayo ng 38 degrees and 10 minutes approximately dito sa part na to. At alam natin na ang distance from the starting point up to this location of the airplane is 100 kilometers. Now, how far south and how far east of the starting point is it? So, ibig sabihin, kung ang reference natin ay along this line, along this horizontal line, gaano kalayo yan mula sa starting reference papunta sa south? So, ang hinahanap lang natin is this vertical line up to this point. Now, paano naman yung how far east? So, from the starting position, gaano siya kalayo from the starting position to the right side? Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, kailangan natin bumuo dito ng right triangle para hindi tayo mahirapang mag-solve and we can use the 6 trigonometric function. And to do that, kailangan natin ilagay yung line na yon dito sa baba. Bakit? Para makaform tayo ng right triangle. And referring to the given, mapapansin nyo na zinoom out ko lang siya, eto yung south natin, how far south, 
And this one is how far east naman. Alam natin na yung location ng airplane ay banda rito. At yung degree measure natin from the south is 38 degrees and 10 minutes. Well, no need to write east of south kasi uh, angle measure na lang ang nilagay ko dito. No? At yung nandito, nilalagyan nyo lang ng east of south pag nandito yung point na nire-refer nyo. Okay. Now, if the distance from the starting point up to the airplane is 100 kilometers, how do we solve for E? Okay, so we all know that in Sokatoa, what we need is a reference angle. So if our reference angle is 38 degrees and 10 minutes, etong letter E dito or side E is the opposite side, while 100 kilometers is the hypotenuse because it's opposite this angle. So, kung gusto nyo pang i-review yung mga lessons tungkol sa Sokatoa, trigonometric functions, and other solutions for right triangles, you can check the link below for my trigonometry playlist. Now, going back, kung titignan natin dito, since opposite at hypotenuse ang involved, so opposite, hypotenuse, therefore, I need to use so in the Sokatoa, which means sine is equal to opposite, over hypotenuse so that our formula now is sine 38 degrees 10 minutes which is our reference equal to e because e is the opposite and it's over 100 because 100 is the hypotenuse so we need to use the sine function and to solve for e all we need to do is to cross multiply so we have 100 times sine 38 degrees 10 minutes equals E. By using your calculator, the answer is 61.80 kilometer east. So the plane is 61.80 kilometer east. To solve for S, we need to consider that S here is the adjacent side to our reference angle 38 degrees and 10 minutes, while 100 is still hypotenuse. So in Sokotoa, if we have adjacent and the hypotenuse, then we need to use ka. Stands for cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So our formula is cosine 38 degrees 10 minutes, which is the reference angle, equals S, the adjacent side, over the hypotenuse, which is 100. Now... By doing the same procedure in the previous computation, we have 100 times cosine 38 degrees 10 minutes equals S. By placing this on your calculator, our answer is 78.62 kilometer south. So the plane is around 78.62 kilometers south. Next example. Two towers are 20 miles apart, tower A being due north of tower B. Now, a fire is spotted from the towers and its bearing from tower A and tower B are given. From tower A, the bearing of the fire is 56 degrees east of south. And the bearing of the fire from tower B is 34 degrees east of north. So, tignan nyo mabuti yung ginawa ko. East of south, so nandito siya sa lower right. And it's 56 degrees mula dito sa ating south reference. While 34 degrees east of north is 34 degrees here from our northern reference. So, therefore, pwede nating sabihin na yung angle dito ay 56 at dito sa baba ay 34 degrees. And what have you noticed on the diagram? Kung papansin ninyo mabuti, pag in ko yung 56 at saka yung 34 degrees dito, ang sagot ay ano? 90 degrees. Correct. So, ibig sabihin, kung yung 56 at saka 34 ay 90 degrees, therefore, yung natitira dito is also 90 degrees. Uh, kung pag-uusapan natin yung uh, properties ng interior angles or sum ng interior angles ng triangles, it's 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, kung in ko yung 56 at 34, 90 na, therefore, yung natitira dito ay 90 degrees din to complete the sum of 180 degrees inside the triangle. But why is this important? 
Kasi nga, the next thing that we need to do is to find the distance of tower B from the fire. Tama? So, let X be the distance of the tower fire or the fire from tower B. So, ibig sabihin, kung alam natin 90 degrees ito at alam natin triangle or right triangle lang meron tayo dito, masasolve natin yung X dito because we have two reference angles and one side measure. So, kung mag-iisip tayo alin sa 6 trigonometric functions ang pwede natin gamitin or dun sa Sokotoa, ano nga ba? So, kung ang reference ko ay 34 degrees na lang, para yung nasa baba na lang gamitin natin, alam natin yung x na side dito ay yung adjacent side. Why? Because if this is 90 degrees, of course, 20 miles here is the hypotenuse. So, anong involved natin? Yung x which is adjacent to um, 34 degrees at saka yung hypotenuse which is 20 miles. Pwede nyo rin gamitin naman yung 56 degrees, pero mamaya na lang natin i-check yun. So, here we have AH. So, sa Sokatoa, this is Ka. So, therefore, ang, gagam ang gagamitin natin ay yung cosine 34 degrees, kasi ito yung ating reference, equals X over 20, because X here is the adjacent side, and 20 is the hypotenuse side. Now, to get the value of X, all we need to do is to cross-multiply these two values. So, we have 20 times cosine 34 degrees. By using your calculators, the distance of tower B from the fire is 16.58 miles. Now, if you want to check our answer, you can use an alternative solution wherein you can use 56 degrees as a reference angle. Now, if 56 degrees is your reference angle, X here now becomes the opposite side and 20 is still the hypotenuse. So, opposite at hypotenuse, anong ginagamit? Yes, we use the SO in the SOKATOA. And now, the solution will become sine 56 degrees equals what? Yes, it's equal to X over 20 miles. And hopefully, pag uh, kinuha nyo or sinob nyo yung value ng X dito, we'll have the same 16.58 miles. How about we try a complicated problem? A ship leaves its home port and sails on a bearing of 61 degrees 50 minutes east of south. If this is the starting point, then ship A is here. Another ship leaves the same port at the same time and sails on a bearing of 28 degrees 10 minutes east of north. Let's call it ship B. If the first ship sails 24 miles per hour and the second sails at 28 miles per hour, find the distance between the two ships after 4 hours. Now, since we now know the bearing of the ships, we can transfer the angle measures from the north and south reference. So, the angle here is 28 degrees, 10 minutes. And the angle on the bottom is 61 degrees and 50 minutes. Now, since we are trying to identify the distance between these two ships after 4 hours, let this distance be x. Now that we know that we have a triangle, is it a right triangle? Yes, it's a right triangle. Actually, the tricky part dito, may identify kung nasaan yung right angle. Etong nandito sa gitna, parang kung mapapansin nyo, right angle, di ba? Pero ano yung proof natin? Well, if you notice, kapag magkakaroon tayo ng rotation dito, this is 180 degrees, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, try natin i-minus itong 28 degrees 10 minutes at saka 61 degrees and 50 minutes sa 180. At mapapansin nyo na ang magiging difference ay 90 degrees. So, itong nasa gitna na ito is 90 degrees. Okay, let us set aside this figure. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay value ng x. Ang tanong, paano natin makukuha yung value ng x kung wala tayong ibang information about the sides or interior angles of this triangle? So, one way is to identify the sides. Pero paano kung nga ba may identify yung sides? So, if we are trying to identify the location of the two ships after 4 hours, that's possible if we know the distance formula. And distance formula is just equal to speed times time in this case. Now, ship A has a speed of 24 miles per hour. 
So, after 4 hours, ano ang location ng ship A? By multiplying the speed and the time, the answer is 96 miles. While ship B is 112 miles from the port after 4 hours. So, dito sa triangle natin, yung ship A natin na nasa direction ng east of south ay 96 miles na from the port after 4 hours. While ship B is 112 miles from the fort, port rather after 4 hours. And with these values, masusolve na ba natin yung value ng x? Yes, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Why? Kasi nga, two sides are given and one of the sides is missing. Kung gusto nyo ng ibang lesson or gusto nyo ng particular discussion about sa Pythagorean theorem, please check the link below for my trigonometry playlist. Now, going back, using Pythagorean theorem, x is equal to square root of the sum of the squares of the two sides. In this case, 96 and 112. By using your calculator, the answer is 16 square root of 85 or 147.51 miles. Meaning, the two ships are 147.51 miles apart 4 hours after leaving the port. And that's all for this video. Kung gusto mo pa ng ibang taglish tutorial in trigonometry, please like, share, and subscribe. At sama-sama nating matuklasan ang ganda ng sitnaya.